Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Tisha Masoho and today I'm going to teach you how to solve quadratic equations using the method of completing the square. So if you want to learn that, tune in. x minus 16 equals to 0 okay so when you complete the square you are supposed to make sure that the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x squared is 1 right if it's not 1 you factor out but for number 1 the coefficient is 1 so we're just going to complete the square if it's like this it's easy okay and for number 2 the coefficient will be 1 right so let's do when the coefficient is 1 so we have x squared minus 6x minus 16 equals to 0. We're going to complete the square. So you start by writing x, right? After x, you have the coefficient of x, right? The coefficient of x here is negative 6. So you divide negative 6 by 2. You divide negative 6 by 2, okay? If you divide negative 6 by 2, you're going to get 3. So x minus 3 then you square you square this right after you square this you subtract you always subtract you subtract this squared negative 3 squared minus 16 equals to 0 right make sure that you always subtract whether here is positive or not you always subtract okay and you always square this value you always square it Right? So we're going to get x minus 3 squared minus 9 minus 16 equals to 0. This is minus 9. This is minus 9. Okay? x minus 3 squared minus 25 equals to 0. We take 25 the other side. We're going to get this. Okay? Now we're going to remove the square. So we square root both sides. So we're going to square root both sides. This side we're going to have x minus 3. This side plus or minus 5. Okay? Now we just want our x to be left alone. We make x the subject. We're going to take negative 3 the other side. So we're going to have x is equal to plus or minus 5 plus 3. Okay? It was negative. When it goes the other side, it becomes positive. So our first x is going to be negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. Or x is equal to 8 because positive 5 plus 3 is 8. Okay? So we have x equals to negative 2 and x equals to 8. Okay? So now let's get to number 2. Number 2 we have 3x squared plus 12x minus 2 equals to 0. Okay? We're going to complete the square, then solve for x, okay? So, now the coefficient of x squared is not 1. So, we're going to factor out 3. So, 3, inside we're going to be left with x squared plus 12x divided by 3 is 4x minus negative 2 divided by 3. Is equals to zero okay is equals to zero now inside the coefficient of x squared is one so we can start completing the square and even the next term after this is 4x and this one is a constant right so we can start completing the square inside so the three is still outside we're completing the square inside we're going to be left with x we divide the coefficient of x by 2. This is positive 4. It's going to be positive 2, right? Because it's 4 divided by 2. Positive 2. Then you square. Then you subtract. You always subtract. You subtract 2 squared. 2 squared minus 2 over 3. Okay. Now, we have 3 
x plus 2 squared. This is negative 4. So negative 4 minus 2 over 3 is negative 14 over 3. Negative 14 over 3 equals to 0. Even if you punch your calculator, you punch this negative. You start with this negative. Don't say 4 minus 2 over 3. No. You say negative 4 minus 2 over 3. Okay? So this is going to be 3x plus 2 squared minus 3 times this is 14 equals to 0. Right? This 3 was outside the big bracket. Now we're removing this bracket. So 3 times this is this. Then 3 times this is negative 14. We're going to solve for x. So we're going to take negative 14 the other side. We're going to have 3x plus 2 squared equals to 14. Right? We divide by 3 both sides. We divide by 3 both sides. We're going to have x plus 2 squared equals to 14 divided by 3. We take the square root because we want to remove this. So we're going to have x plus 2 equals to plus or minus square root of 14 over 3. We take 2 the other side because positive. Now it's going to become negative. So x is equals to negative 2 plus or minus square root of 14 over 3. We're supposed to have two solutions. Okay? So we're going to say negative 2 minus negative 2 minus square root of 14 over 3 is negative 4.1602 or negative 2 plus this right plus we're going to have 0 0.1602 remember you're supposed to round off to three significant figures so this is going to be negative 4.16 or x is equal to 0 0.160 then we are happy with our answers this is the answer for number two okay now let's get to number three number three we have 5x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals to 0. We're going to start by completing the square, then solve for x, okay? So we can see that the coefficient of x squared is not 1. So we factor out this 5. So we're going to have 5 inside x squared plus 2 over 5x minus 8. 8 over 5 is equal to 0. The coefficient is 1. We can complete the square inside. Our 5 is still there. Don't even try of dividing by 5 both sides. Okay? So we have 5 x. We take half of this. 2 over 5 divided by 2 is 1 over 5. Okay? And then you square. You only subtract this squared okay minus 8 over 5 is equal to 0 now we're going to have 5 x plus 1 over 5 squared you start with negative when you punch in your calculate negative 1 over 5 1 over 5 square minus 8 divided by 5. We're going to have negative 41 over 25. Okay? Equals to 0. We take 5 that. We take 5 inside. We remove this bracket. So this is going to be 5x plus 1 over 5 square minus 41 over 5 is equal to 0, right? We have completed the square. Now, we are supposed to solve for x, right? Take 41 over 5 the other side. We're going to have 5x plus 1 over 
plus 1 over 5 squared is equals to 41 over 5. Equals to 5, okay? Now, we're going to divide by 5 both sides so that we remove this 5. We're going to take, we're going to divide. Now, we're going to divide by this 5 both sides. We're going to divide by 5 both sides. So, 41 divided by 5 divided by 5. We're going to get 41 over 25. So we have x plus 1 over 5 squared equals to 41 over 25. We take the square root. We have x plus 1 over 5 plus to plus or minus square root of 41 over 25. We take this the other side. It was positive. Now it's going to be negative, negative 1 over 5, plus or minus square root of 41 over 25. Now you can punch this in your calculator. So we have negative 1 over 5 minus, minus square root of 41 over 25. We have negative 1.4806. Or x is equals to negative 1 over 5 plus square root of 41 over 25, which is 1.0806. Make sure that your answers are in three significant figures. Number four, we're not going to solve the quadratic equation. Okay, we're just going to express this expression in the form of ax plus b squared minus c okay so make sure that this quadratic equation is in this form right a is not supposed to be inside like how we've been doing okay so now we can start completing the square the coefficient is not one so we factor out four so we're going to have four x squared negative two divided by four is half x minus 7 over 4. Okay? And now we're going to complete the square. So we have 4 x minus ne negative half divided by 2 is negative 1 quarter. Okay? Then you square, you subtract, you always subtract this. Negative 1 over 4 square minus 7 over 4. Okay. We are going to have 4x minus 1 over 4 squared. We start with this negative. Okay. So negative 1 over 4 squared minus 7 over 4. Negative 29 over 16. Okay. We're going to simplify by right, two remove bracket. We're going to have four x minus one over four squared minus twenty-nine over four, right? Because it's twenty-nine divided by sixteen times four is twenty-nine over four. Right. We are supposed to come we are supposed to express this. In this form, right, you can see that the A is inside. So we're going to make sure that we don't have a number here. So 4 is the same as 2 squared, right? If we have 9 here, we just say 3 squared, okay? If we have 16, we just say 4 squared. So that's how you'll be able to get this number inside the bracket, okay? So we have this x minus 1 over 4 squared minus 29 over 4. Okay, so we're just going to take 2 inside. So this is going to be 2x minus 2 times 1 over 4 is half, half squared minus 29 over 4. This is how to express this in the form of ax plus b squared minus c okay so 
Thank you for watching today's lesson and I hope you have understood and you know how to solve using completing the square. So make sure to download a worksheet so that you can practice. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.